Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I'll discuss the difference between self-study and review courses when preparing for the PE exam to help you decide which option may work best for you. This episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. There are usually two ways people go about studying for the PE exam. Either they purchase materials including a reference manual and prepare on their own, or they take a structured review course, either online or in person locally. Both options can be effective, but you should consider your goals and circumstances to choose the best option for you. Let's take a look at some of the factors that you should consider when deciding. Cost. First and foremost, let's take a look at the investment required for each of these options. As for many people, this is the most important aspect of their decision. Most companies that sell PE exam review courses split up their content into a way that enables you to buy what you need without adding on any extra features. Each exam is usually split into live online courses and on-demand courses. If you are not familiar with these, live online courses typically cover every exam topic and provide you with the guidance and resources that you need to pass. With these, you typically get access to online study tools and a lot of practice problems. Prices for these courses are usually around $2,000 to $3,000 US dollars. On-demand courses are typically bundles that will help you to study at your own pace, but will also allow you to choose the course time frame that works best for you. Prices for these types of courses range from $195 to $2,400 US dollars. When choosing to study on your own, you will have to invest in some books, including a reference manual, for example, the Civil Engineering Reference Manual for the PE exam if you're a civil engineer. This book costs about 430 US dollars new. But keep in mind that this might not be the only book that you are going to need. Depending on which PE exam you're taking, you might need additional books or resources. Passing Guarantee Some companies who offer review courses also offer a passing guarantee which typically says that if you do not pass the exam on your first attempt, you are usually allowed to repeat the course for free. However, bear in mind that there are typically a few conditions to this. Number one, you may have to provide proof of your exam score. Number two, you usually have to take your repeat course in the following season. And number three, the repeat course typically has to be the same one you took originally. This can be a simple but very effective guarantee. When choosing to self-study and you don't pass the exam, you might have to consider alternative options or books to help you pass the second time around. And that can result in spending more money than what the review course would have cost you from the beginning. So keep that in mind. Live content and flexibility. Most companies that sell review courses today use live webinars to simulate the experience of a traditional classroom environment. Sessions are typically recorded and made available to students afterwards. As a result, these classes are very easy to follow and easy to understand the content. You also have the opportunity to easily ask questions and engage with your peers. And questions can be sent directly to the instructor, which is a nice feature. Prep courses are most beneficial for those who need a very rigid framework and for those who are learning a good amount of material for the first time. If you are unfamiliar with much of the exam content, the course lectures can be a great place for learning, meaning learning a subject from scratch. Also, prep courses may work for you if you learn the best through lectures and not through reading or self-study. 
This may be due to you being an auditory learner, or maybe you simply enjoy having an instructor that you can interact with as needed, as having that expert available to you can certainly boost your confidence during the preparation process. Self-studying gives you more flexibility and allows you to tailor your studying to your strengths and weaknesses. Self-studying does require dedication and self-accountability. There is no one to tell you what your weaknesses are and no one's gonna give you a study schedule to follow. You're going to need to identify your weak areas and create plans and a schedule to address them on your own. Now, there are some benefits to self-study as self-studying is an intensely personal experience. It allows you to tailor your every minute of your studying, again, to address your needs. And it can even be divided into different ways to fit into a very busy schedule. However, if you are a person who has trouble with self-discipline and you often find yourself watching TV or watching YouTube videos instead of studying, self-study will be challenging as there will be no one to catch you or hold you accountable when you get distracted. And believe me, it happens. Conclusion. Prep courses tend to be more expensive, but they are convenient and can hold you accountable to a study schedule. Courses may require the same amount of studying as self-studying or even more, but your study schedule and materials will be provided for you, which is a huge benefit for busy working professionals. In contrast, self-studying requires a strong will and discipline. However, if you put in the time, you can be just as, if not more successful through self-study because it allows you to design your own course targeting your personal strengths and weaknesses. And you can also make it fun by potentially studying with friends or groups of colleagues. Lastly, being more involved in planning your study efforts can help you to learn about the way in which you learn, which can enhance your overall experience, but also your long-term career growth. Ultimately, you will have to make the decision and decide which of these best suits your need, self-study or taking a PE exam review course. There you have it. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a problem that you need solved. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.